starting off this look, I'm using black face paint and a really small brush and just doing a teeth outline on my upper and lower lip. Um, so I did four teeth for the top and five smaller ones for the bottom. And then I will just be filling that in with white face paint. Um, the face paints that I use for this look are Snazaroo brand and the smaller little pucks are um, Wolf brand, I believe. So now I'm just outlining where the bones are on my face and painting that in with white face paint after. And then doing the rest of the outline for the half of my face that I'm doing. And it just goes right down to my chin, but it would be better if you extend this onto your neck. I was just lazy today. Um, so now I fill the teeth and those bones in with white and there was a corrupt clip on this video so it skips the part where I fill in the rest of the space with red but it's pretty basic. So there is the rest of the face filled in. I just used a red face paint. Now I'm taking a like plum blush color and just shading in my eye area and then I go over top of that with black as well just mostly on my eyelid just to kind of hollow out that eye area. So there's a black eyeshadow, just all matte colors for everything. So just making my eye a little bit more sunken in. Now I'm taking a burgundy face paint, and that's one of those Wolf brand ones, and just drawing sort of like muscle lines all over my face, going in all different directions. Um, so I based this off a picture of like basic anatomy stuff that I found on Google. So just lines all along the face going in the direction of like the bones or the eye socket, that type of stuff. So next I'm taking a white face paint and just doing the same thing going in the same directions that these are all going in and I've done a lot less white lines than I did of those burgundy lines. Now I'm taking that black eyeshadow again and just shading around some of those white parts which are supposed to be like the bones in the face. And yeah, the most shading is just in this part right here underneath the brow bone. And again just shading up and below where those white teeth are. And I extended my mouth out a little bit. I'm just using a sort of fluffy brush for this. And I really just layered it on top of all the face paint. Now I'm taking black face paint and a thin brush and just kind of separating some of these like muscle areas on my face and filling that in. And I've gone over my lines too for most of my face to darken it all up. So now I'm taking white face paint and just highlighting some of the bones that are on there. So the first time I painted it I didn't really do like a very thick layer of white so this time when you put the white on you can do it thicker so that it appears more white than the white that I already put down. And then just touching up my teeth again because they got a little bit smushed. Now I'm taking that burgundy face paint and just drawing little like cracks in the bone parts. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just take um, blood with like a little dropper and just drop that all on the outline of this whole thing all the way around and let it drip down. So yeah, just all around the outside. And that's the finished look. Um, so thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy.